Hey, my name is Phil with LegitMarketingReviews.com and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at an SEO tool called Phrase.io. Now in this Phrase.io review, I wanna show you exactly what Phrase.io is, how it works, and by the end of this video, you should know if this tool is right for you. Now just to let you know, there is actually an option to get started for free. If you wanna go ahead and check out Phrase.io, use the link in the description and you'll also be helping support the channel. So first of all, what is Phrase.io? Well, they are actually an SEO tool that focus on supplying answers for questions because Google loves questions and answers. So basically what they have done is they have created a tool that can scan all of the top listings for a particular type of keyword you're looking for. And it's gonna bring you all of the answers that you need to actually create content. So what I'm going to do is trying to explain it is very hard. I'm gonna jump behind the screen and show you how Phrase.io works. Okay, first of all, we are on the uh, homepage of phrase.io. I just wanted to show you a few things before we got started. So as you can see, they have accelerate growth with answers. Like I mentioned, they are basically helping you get organic traffic uh, using answers and uh, providing you different types of information. Um, there's a lot of information inside of here. Go ahead and check it out. But what I'm going to do is quickly just show you the pricing of phrase.io um, so you know what you're in for. Once again, there is a free plan. I've linked to that in the description if you want it. But there is also the basic plan, which allows you to have 30 document credits. And a document credit is basically a content brief for one uh, type of keyword. Or you can have Teams, which has unlimited. Plus, then you've also got the growth and enterprise. So here we are in my back office of phrase.io. Um, it's a pretty simplistic Sort of layout which i really like because you don't have all that fluff trying to uh, sort of take your attention now just a quick walkthrough of the back office on the left we have here the overview basically this is all of the documents i've created as you can see i haven't really created many because i mainly focus all my uh, work on youtube however i am going to be using it a lot more next we have content which is actually going to be where all your documents are as well as different types of answers things like that um, you've got things like question ideas as well as google traffic you can actually integrate it, i believe with um, your yeah, search console and it gives you more information from there as well then we have a new feature which i've actually added not too long ago called the phrase answers and what this allows you to do is have a sort of chat bot on your website that actually understands all of the content on top on side of your website and i can provide people answers using their ai software so it's a very cool thing it's got the assistant in here you've also got like a knowledge basis as well as all of the analytics that people are actually using so that's all really interesting stuff and then finally we've got settings and then at the bottom releases get started and help so now I'm going to show you how this tool works, right? So the first thing we do is click on new document. This page is going to load and inside here is where we want to put in our keyword. Now I'm just going to use for this example, the last one I did, let's just saying I want to create an article based on affiliate marketers for beginners, right? So I'll put in here affiliate marketers for beginners. I highly recommend um, creating a keyword based on what you're trying to get. And you can also create folders and things as well if you wish, or you can optimize existing content, but I'm just going to use this. There's also advanced settings if you wish as well, um, but I'm just going to leave it as is. Is because it's probably the best so I'm gonna go ahead and click create document and then in a few moments this AI software is gonna go ahead and scan at the top search results uh, for all the different types of things including uh, you know what people have put in for headlines the sort of uh, text that's been put in there uh, how many links things like that so it's gonna go ahead and bring me the best type of answers that I can actually get uh, ideas from now on the left here you'll see we have content brief and we've also got my content so the idea of this is actually coming through all of this different information from all of these different websites getting inspiration from it and then going ahead and creating unique in the my content section if that makes sense so now all of the top articles have been researched and now we've got our results as you can see uh, 18 results were processed the word count average is 2641 so we can see that uh, Google is sort of favoring this number it's got seven different types of headers in there so if you want to create a roughly the same links it's external and internal is four and images is 12 so if we sort of work based off this guideline we've got a really good chance of matching these people if that makes sense so now if we come down we can see the different types of results that we have here are the different uh, headers that we have so what I recommend you would do is see a common theme in all of these and use the most popular ones and then obviously create your own versions so if you scroll down we've got here big commerce at the top ahrefs then we've got wp beginner smart blogger so we've got a lot of stuff inside of here right 
and that's just for top results. If we go to topic score, it's also going to show us the different types of topics inside of here, right? So uh, quite a few people are talking about, um, these are particular words as well, right? So a lot of people are talking about affiliates, they're talking about audiences, affiliate marketers, beginners. So there's all these different types of information. Basically what it's doing is giving us an idea of how everything works. It's a bit of a strange result for this particular one, um, but I'm sure the more you use it, the more you understand it. But my main and my favorite part of it is questions, right? Recently, I've been implementing questions inside of my articles um, as sort of headings, right? Because a lot of people will search Google for questions, like they'll type in a question, see what comes up. And a lot of the times the schema from Google from your websites is actually going to come up quick. So here's some examples of questions that are being asked, right? What is affiliate marketing? How does affiliate marketing work? How do affiliate marketers get paid? Why become an affiliate marketer? So basically, if you can create an article, right, and it's got all of these different types of questions inside of it, some could be headings, it could be an FAQ, things like that, there's a really good chance that Google is going to reward you for having answers to these questions inside of your article right so this is actually gold now this is through the SERPed uh, results you can also look through people always ask you can also look in Quora you can also look in all these different types of answers sort of engines um, it's just loading up the next lot but it's a pretty amazing thing right so that's this is people also ask so there's more questions Quora, it's going to go ahead and search the Quora results. Reddit, it's going to go ahead and search the Reddit results. So if you have an, a, a sort of article in mind of what you want to create, instead of having to go into each website and picking bits and pieces, what you can actually do is take inspiration from these different websites, right? So what I can do is go ahead, click on this first one. This looks pretty cool. What I'm actually going to do is I like the title, what is affiliate marketing? So I'm going to go ahead and paste this whole thing inside of here as part of my content brief. I love this uh, sort of topic. I'm going to talk about that. Let's just say I want to do that one and let's just come down further, see what other types of questions people are asking. Here, what affiliate networks are there? I might paste that inside of there as well. What else have we got? How much money can you make with affiliate marketing? Right, let's paste that in there as well. So already I've got quite a nice sized sort of content brief. It's already 600 words. I could just keep coming down until I have roughly my 2647 or whatever, 2641. So in until I can get it around that number, then what I would do is basically get inspiration from all of these. I will go into my content and then I would start rewriting it or reordering it or just making it unique in my own way. And what I've got essentially is a mega and ultra blog post, which Google absolutely loves and answers a lot of questions. Now there is actually also something quite special about this as well. If we come to the headers tab, you can see the different types of headers. You can also see stats, which talks about if there's any different reference to numbers right so this is talking about um, 5,000 visitors a month to the conversion rates it's talking about you know percentages numbers things like that so there's there's lots of things in here if you want to include numbers but the one thing I do like is links right so a lot of these places are linking to different references on the internet right and the good thing about this is if you know they're linking to them then you know that though that those websites they're linking to are usually good quality websites and what you can actually do is link to similar websites you can even link to the same ones if you want it's probably not going to help you but it's going to give you a really good idea of how you can can actually um sort of link out your blog posts to the best type of sources so you're going to get the best possible type of um, sort of reading from Google if that makes sense. So let's just say that this article was all good right let's just say that I've actually put it in my content everything's really good to go my content brief is written my content article is written just by the way you can also add in like uh, images and videos and bullet points and everything inside of here as well all the different types of formatting. What you can actually do is if you are a just a content brief creator, maybe you're just sending it off to someone else, there's export features where you can share a, as a PDF, you can download and upload, or you can just share the link where they can edit it or read only, things like that. Um, so you can have those all in place. You can even use this as a surface, like if you go to like Fiverr Freelance or anything like that. If people are looking for content ideas or content briefs, this is the perfect way and quick way that you can actually research all this type of information. But that's pretty much phrase.io, right? I come in here to get inspiration. I come in here to see what people are actually searching for with different topics, right? So all you need to do is literally come in here, type in your keyword, and you can just keep breaking it down on what are actually being searched, what's actually being spoken about, um, the questions that are being asked, and then you can go ahead and create your own answers based on that. So what I'm going to do right now is jump behind the camera once more. I've got a few final things to talk about. 
Okay, so that was phrase.io. As you can see, it is a very helpful tool, especially if you're looking to create an article and you wanna have the best possible content based on what people are actually searching and what the top results are actually writing about. This tool is the tool for you. Now, once again, if you wanna get started with phrase.io, there is a free link to get started in the description. Go ahead and use that and you'll also be supporting the channel. But apart from that, I hope you've enjoyed this phrase.io review. If you have, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and if you haven't yet subscribe for more videos i've got a load of free things that you can get also inside of the description go ahead and check that out but that's it from me hope you enjoyed and i'll see you on the next video